Sorry. What's up, guys? <laughs> we are here in um, Las Vegas. We're going to be buying our materials that we need for this next build. So, as you guys know, we came into some complications when we were building. Yep. And uh, now we gotta buy some materials for the subfloor and water piping and all that stuff. Come along with us today. We're gonna get the shopping done and then start building. So let's do it. Let's get it done. Plenty of lumber out here. <laughs> ah. I got it. Got it. This is semi gloss white right here. Okay, that's what we need. You got semi gloss, we need is to get semi gloss. Oh. Ah. Ow, nobody saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Let's go. I love you. I love you too. So I think we got everything that we need, you guys. Um, we got the hose so we can replace and extend that hose. We got some more wood so we can continue building on and framing everything out. We got the flooring for the subfloor as well as over here on this end. We got some more tough as nails putty. We got some more flooring to replank it. We got some paint, some spray paint, and then all those little enders. So I think that we have enough to get this project done. Um, we'll have to find out when we get home. Hopefully we won't have another trip to Home Depot, but I think we're got enough to get it done. What do you think, babe? I hope so. I hope it's so, too. It's going to be good. So, It'll be fun. We'll check back in with you guys here in just a little bit as soon as we get back and get this project started. So we'll see you guys in just a little while. Yeah. All right, well, we got it loaded. Got it in there. It doesn't look that bad until you get really in there. We got a four by eight sheet of wood fitted in this minivan. Look at Melanie in there. <laughs> She's underneath the roof of the wood. <laughs> All I gotta say is we get her done. So I don't care what it looks like if we get it done. <laughs> Let's go baby. Let's do it. guys well we're in the trailer and we have some more demo that we have to do we got to take out this box down here and we got to move the hot water heater we got to move the water tank all the wiring all the plumbing so that way we can get down to the sub floor remove that replace that and start from there so yeah. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look <laughs> at what we're looking at and um, what's going on down here so you guys can get a better idea of the battle that we're facing it's gonna be a challenge, but I know that me and you, we got this. We got it. We got it. It's just gonna be a headache because it it's literally everything right here. Yep. Such is renovations. So yep. let's get to let's it. Let's do it. All right, you guys. So down here, this is what we're looking at. Um, you can see that we have the hot water heater. And then down here in this corner, you can see all that nasty that's just been hiding down there for the last like 16 years because nobody's been able to get in here. Um, this is a 2003 Fleetwood Wilderness light trailer. And uh, down here has never been opened and exposed before. So that's just all the nasty that's been down there. Listen to that, guys. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's bad. That one's not nearly as bad as this, but. It's still bad. And then down here too, where the hot water heater is, it's not, 
as bad. It's just got soft spots. So we're going to have to remove that guy and then fix the flooring and stuff. So we opened up a big old can of worms. Yes, we did. Oh, so, well. First things first, let's get this thing off of here so we can get this guy out. So I have removed the heating vent from all this mess as well as I removed the battery inverter. That was pretty easy. Now's the time to actually smash into this thing and that's it. That's uh, no turning back from here. You ready? Get her done. I'm ready. I want to get this foot off. There you go. Oh, see what is going on. Alright, now I've exposed this side so I can see what's all holding it together. Ooh, look, Gary. We're rich. <laughs> Another quarter. No. Man. All we need is what? What would that be? Like 100,000 of them? And <laughs> Then we'll have like 50,000. <laughs> Something, I don't know. I'm not good at the math. I don't know. Oops. Lunch. Tell Kylie I said thank you so much. Okay, and here's yours. Thank you. And here's Dad. Thank you, Julia. Huh? Yeah, we're taking it all apart, baby girl. Hey, tell Kylie I said thank you for babysitting. I'll tell her. Thank you, baby girl. Be good in there, okay? I will. I love you. Love you too. Okay, be good. I will. Special shout out to our niece Kylie who's in the house right now babysitting for us. And uh, she made us lunch. So thank you Kylie. Mm -hmm. We love you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna eat this and get right back to you guys. Back at it in a minute. So right now what I'm doing, I'm taking off all the wires. I don't want them touching each other just in case. I'll go a little more. There's four, there's a white, green, yellow, and an orange one. So I've got it all marked out to where they're supposed to be. Once I remove that and all the side plumbing, I should be able to take this kink out and then I'll be able to really see what's going on. on the side of the tank they're actually the sensors for the leveler so that way you can tell how much water you really have in here and it gives you a really good idea of how much uh, you're using water as well as uh, how quick you're going through so if you need to add more <laughs> there's that one i got one more oh no my 
that one all together, yeah? for our hot water heater. Let's set that up there. I have now disconnected the hot water heater fully from the inside. Now I've got to go outside, disconnect the propane line itself, disconnect all the mounting screws, pull the propane line through, and I'll be able to slide this guy right on out of here and triple check this guy, make sure that this wasn't the cause of the water damage. So when we went and renovated it the last time and everything, we test the hot water heater, we looked for everything to just see if it was leaking or anything like that and it was working fine. We didn't see any leaks, we didn't see anything going on in any which way, shape or form. This spot where we found all the damage, it's really hidden and we couldn't see it really unless we actually broke everything out and actually was able to get in there. So I'm glad that we're doing it now so we can see it, but I'm really going to triple check this and make sure that this isn't the case. This should be good to be able to pull it out and really see what's all going on underneath here. I mean, this is insane. I've never been able to stand right here where the water tank was, so this is interesting. I'm really curious on how much room we're going to save on this, because I feel like we can work our magic. Well, there's a lot of space in here right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how much space is there? Quite a bit. Yeah? I wonder yeah. if you could do it. Oh, I know I'll be able to touch both sides. Well, let's find out. I think you're almost flat palmed. Yeah, but you're a tall man. But... Oh. And I, can I just stay down here for a bit? No, get back to work, slave. Please. <laughs> <laughs> this feels comfy. Oh. Look at all the space that we got, guys. It's <laughs> pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy about this. I can't wait to have this fully done the way that we want to get it done and have our minds and vision actually out and uh, here in person. That's pretty cool. And how tall are you, babe? 6'4". Yeah. I can touch up there. Uh, 
I'm tired. It's been a lot of work. I gotta get back at it. Okay. Got it, got it. It's going to be heavy. Oh man, there's water underneath it. I made the hole. <laughs> Look at that. That nasty. Oh dude, that's super rotten it out. <laughs> Alright you guys, so under the hot water heater, look at all that nasty. Ooh, hey, buddy. That's nasty. This is going to be a lot of work. Dude, that's nasty. That's just coming out from underneath it, too. You want a glass of water? I'm so glad that we are doing this. Look at how mushy that floor is, you guys. Nasty. And this trailer, aesthetically, before we started doing anything, it looked fine. It looked really good. Like, people probably were like, why are you even bothering doing that? And honestly, it was because we wanted the seating. But I'm glad that we were wanting the seating at this point, right? There's one nasty little piece. Get it, Gary. 
will be interesting getting the rest out of this. <laughs> Actually, before I go throw this thing away, this is probably the more sturdy one. Out of ball. Do you have anything you want to say to the people? This is way more complicated than at first glance. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is a, a huge, huge task to uh, take on. I didn't realize how bad it was gonna be. I didn't realize how water damage it was gonna be. I didn't realize. Uh, the only thing really supporting up on the floor right here are these stupid 2 by 2s for really like a inch and three quarter inch by an inch and a half. <laughs> and that's what you're walking on. And then not only that, I mean you've got metal floor, uh, the metal subfloor itself that this is all sitting on. But all this wood is like literally broken, cracked up, about to fall off. This one looks like it'll be a little easier to take off and replace. This looks like a dang nightmare. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm sitting here scratching my head on what the hell, how am I supposed to get underneath the subfloor and remount it all? I'm sweating profusely right now and I'm scratching my squirrel head and I'm like, what in the world? How, how am I supposed to get, anybody? How am I supposed to get underneath there and replace that? That's holding up both side walls. If I take that guy out, is it going to fall off? I don't think it will. But I got to do it all the way around this whole side wall. I'm really not liking this. <laughs> it's killing me. Well, I've got to scratch my squirrel head. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that one's broken. Like. I'm gonna fall right through the dang floor. All it would have took was a good jump off the bed from the kids and then that would have... They would have fell right through the floor. Well, I think the vinyl would have caught them, but still. It would have broke. It would have heard, snap, crunch, <laughs> all that. And you're like, what the heck? All right, well, let's uh, take five, scratch the squirrel head, and get back to it. Mm -hmm. Watch out for those wires. Look at that dry rock going on. Looks like a damn beaver's been going at town, man. Glad I pulled off that wall so now I can see the actual innards and see if that got damaged. And it did. <laughs> Bye. If you look down there too, it looks like it has tape on it, like the previous owners just taped it on the inside right there. That they did, it looks like. And they didn't even fill in the insulation all the way. Man. What a-holes. You know what that means though, no, right? What? 
the dreaded, I definitely have to take off the uh, pop-out tent. Look, they didn't even put the insulation in that corner either. That's the bracing for the wall. Not only that, the corner. on pulling off that part right now and we're gonna have to cover up that hole yeah. <sighs> Crap. all right all right you guys so we are gonna call it a day we are gonna have to go back down to Home Depot get a list together again <laughs> make inventory of what we've got and get more materials because this is way more than what we were expecting and it just never stops giving it's, it's <laughs> the gift that is never ending all right it's, we're gonna get it babe I, i'm trying to look at it positive as a gift it's a gift because now it's gonna get done and we're not gonna have to deal with it in arkansas so i look at it as a gift i'm trying not to be debbie downer but I'm irritated. I wanted to get this done. I was like, oh yeah, all right, all right. And every single one I'm going into, I'm like... Baby, you should know by now that life doesn't work that good. way. This is not good. This is not good. We're going to have to call it a day for this video. We're going to make a trip to town, buy some supplies, and then I guess the next video that you guys see, we're going to have to continue the demo by taking out the back wall. Completely. Opening up, taking out the tent area so that way we can get in there, fix the framing, insulate, and then put it all back together. We can't do that today because we don't have the materials to put it all back together and we're expecting thunderstorms. Yeah. It definitely got a lot bigger than we were expecting, but again, like Gary said, it is a gift. Yes. So it's it just never stops. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright baby. If you guys are enjoying our trailer renovation or our trailer demolition or whatever these videos, if you guys are enjoying our journey so far, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like the, the video as well. Um, leave your comments. We love hearing back from you guys. Do you think that we should just blow it up and start the new? <laughs> oh, <you> know? <laughs> Drop me down in the comments. <laughs> But anyways, guys, we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we hope you guys have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later. later.